This is so comfortable. Whoa. Ah. Hey guys, yeah well, I've got a new bike. Um, I decided to buy myself a new bike for my new new adventures, which the whole channel is about. And I decided to buy the best bike in the world. Um, is it the best bike in the world? Can you claim any bike as best bike in the world? Or is it just best bike for yourself? Um, bikes have changed. Um, a lot of things on the bikes have changed in the few, uh, from the past to now. Um, and you'll notice the more modern bikes have become, the better they have become. So you can get a, a wrong bike for the wrong purpose. <coughs> um, for instance, I've been riding a cross-country bike for a long time. And, um, and I've been taking it down trails that's meant more for um, enduro longer travel for suspension. Um, the bikes that I've, that I've got are either hardtail or short suspension XC bikes. Um, so at the end of the day, you're going to hurt yourself and you're going to damage the bikes. So get the right bike for the right purpose. So now you've got a new bike. Decide, or you're going to decide to buy a bike and you're going to decide to buy a bike with 200 mil suspension or 160 mil suspension. Um, how much is enough? Will that make you a better rider? Will a new bike make you a better rider? As you guys can see, it didn't. It didn't make me a better rider. I you still make stupid mistakes. You still, um, either you overestimate your skill or underestimate your skill, you become all rigid and you're gonna fall. Like you saw in that video, I fell on my head. Um, so yeah, no, at the end of the day, the bike is just a bike. It's, but it actually enables you to actually try more and experience more. For me, it's a bit of a sit on the fence type of thing. Is uh, dropper seat posts. Um, I've always cycled with the old school dropper, uh, normal seat post, but the new ones, you drop the seat post to make it, it makes the bike more maneuverable out the way. You don't have to worry about you know the seat post knocking areas that that's going to be very painful. Um, but last time I tried that, almost lost control of the bike. So it's obviously something you need to get used to, obviously. And I can see the the benefits to having a dropper seat post, but for me, I haven't been I haven't gotten to that set, that side yet. But yes, dropper seat posts, even the cross country Olympics, some of them have them. But definitely for rougher riding, like enduro, more gnarlier trails, uh, jumps and stuff, you need to drop your seat post. So um, yeah, they're kind of expensive as well. I see they're going for about two and a half thousand rand, and if the brake is going to cost you the same price to fix it, so I don't get the point for fixing them just chuck them and buy a new one but um, yeah I've seen some second-hand ones go for about 1,800 Rand um, but they're kind of pricey for, for for the problems that come with them I've seen a lot of YouTube videos where people go for longer rides and then suddenly the seat, bed, seat post breaks and they can't sit for instance yeah it's not for me but yeah, maybe I'll change my mind at some point Uh, Andre's corner. Nah, Rena is corner. I can bike. Uh, I need my bike picked up. It's on my derailleur. Come on, I'm stuck. There we go. That's funny. Thank you. There you go. Thank you. Uh, let's see if my derailleur works. Yeah, it's fine. I just got hooked. I got hooked over there. Yeah, yeah I know. He just hooked it off. Yeah, so it's one of those corners that do that. That hooks right there. Came off here. Hooked that core. You can see I hooked over there. I yeah. went onto one wheel over here and then did the business.
this place is so slippery. Yeah! 